Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. I am your buddy Shanak and today we are about to dive deep into the process of tailoring large language models for your specialized tasks. We will understanding fine tuning, prompt engineering and finally prompt tuning. What, what exactly are these terms and how does it enable us to customize LLMs for specific applications. So join me as we understand the intricacies of process of how to do this and explore its implication for enhancing the capabilities of language models. But why does prompt tuning matter? <laughs> Understanding this process not only unlocks the potential to improve the model performance and accuracy, but also opens its doors to a variety of applications across various domains. Foundational models are pre-tained on massive amounts of internet knowledge which makes them incredibly versatile. Think about it. They can analyze legal documents one moment and craft a poem about your cricket team the next. They are like an all-purpose tool in a single toolbox. But here is the exciting part. We can actually make them all, make these already smart models even smarter for your specific tasks. Traditionally, we used a technique called fine tuning to achieve this. Fine tuning is like giving your model a targeted workout routine. You gather a lot of labeled examples related to the specific task you wanted to focus at. With fine tuning, you need thousands and thousands of labeled examples to train your model effectively. It has been your it has been a go-to technique of the industry for improving the capabilities of large language models. However, there is a catch. Fine tuning can be very data hungry. You need substantial amount of labeled example to make it work effectively. However, a more energy efficient and simpler technique known as prompt tuning has emerged as an alternative to fine tuning. Imagine you've got this huge all knowing AI model at your disposal, but you don't have an endless supply of labeled example. So what do you do? You use prompt. Prompt tuning allows companies with limited data to customize a massive model to a narrow task without the need of extensive labeled examples. Instead, specific prompts are provided to give it task specific context. This prompt, this process actually involves prompt engineering where developers create prompts that guide the model to perform specialized tasks. So prompt is what isn't just an extra word or number introduced by humans or AI to guide the model towards desired decision or prediction. These prompts are introduced at inference time to direct the model's output. So let's discuss an example. So in this prompt, you can see the we first mention the task clearly that is translate English to French. Then we give some few short examples that uh, what we ex basically what we expect out of the model like translations of bread and butter and then we give the exact task that you want to accomplish. So here you can see task definition, desk task description, few short examples, task details. Okay. So prompting generally means giving the model extra clues to help it generate the desired output. This generally involves adding some text before or after the input text. It helps model understand what it needs to do, whether it's for classification or generating text. This whole process is called hard prompting. These are human generated prompts and hence consist of human readable text only. So, but these days, these hard prompts or human prompts are actually taking a backseat these days. Say hello to soft prompts. Soft prompts are recognizable, unrecognizable to the human eye. Unlike hard prompts, soft prompts cannot be viewed and edited in text. These consist of embeddings, a string of numbers that derives knowledge from another larger model. These prompting methods are better at complex tasks than hard prompting. So as you can see, a clear disadvantage here is that lack of interpretability of the soft prompts. The AI discovers prompts relevant for a specific task, but you cannot explain 
but why it chose those embeddings. Like deep learning model themselves, SOC prompts are also kind of black box only. So to summarize, there are three main approaches to specialize a pre-trained model. Fine tuning, prompt engineering or hard prompting and finally is prompt, prompt tuning. So fine tuning, you start with already pretty, stars, pretty smart model, but it's not quite a specialist yet. So you feed it thousands of labeled example for your specific task. Think of it like hitting a gym. You keep these models, some examples to work on and it adapts like an athlete getting ready for the big game. Okay. Hard prompting, you see, instead of making your model sweat it out, you simply provided two prompts. First, obviously the input text that you got, like the request. And finally, then you add a pre-written prompt in front of it. It is quite similar to having an additional coach for your AI team without any effort. Soft prompting is often more effective than hard prompting and it can produce results similar, I would say similar to fine tuning the entire model. This is especially true for tasks like paraphrasing, answering questions. It uses a pre-trained model as is and just introduces a tunable soft prompt generated by AI. And the best part, it is super fast as well as cost effective. Your model adapts to specialized tasks in no time. And in these, day, in these days, uh, prompt tuning is proving to be a game changer in the industry. In multitask learning, where a model has to keep learning new st stuff without forgetting the old, prompt tuning actually shines. Prompt tuning has made it easier to adapt large language models to specialized tasks and it has outperformed even traditional fine tuning and prompt engineering methods. It's significant advancement in the field of AI. So there you have it folks. Fine tuning, prompt engineering and prompt tuning. Each has its own flavor and you can choose the one that suits your requirement the best. Whether you are a researcher, a developer, or an engineering leader, prompt tuning opens door to endless possibilities in the world of AI. Thank you for joining me on this journey of discovery. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for notifications on future content. And as always, keep coding, keep innovating, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the world of tech. Until next time, this is Sean signing off.